Hey guys, it's Jessica, the other half of Jessica and Cody here with another reaction. This is to Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 4. I'm like almost halfway through with this season and it's kind of weird to think about. Um, I've been really enjoying it so far. So without further ado, let's get this reaction started and I will see you on the other side. Jesus, Jara. This just seems like a bad idea. So they're in a boat, and he's going to Daenerys, but I thought they were already where the Daenerys was? I don't know, this is confusing. Where the hell are they going? Don't get things carved into your forehead, kids. <gasps> oh, not Loris, you bastards. Loris. <laughs> Of House Tyrell, you have broken the laws of gods and men. Oh God! Who do you think you are? Justice. Why is my brother in a cell? Yeah, I'd be pissed. I, I don't know. I I didn't order it. We both know who did. You told me she was returning to Casterly Rock. Are you saying my mother's behind this? She's oh, jealous so you're not hers anymore. Arresting my brother is her revenge. Aren't you and mother getting along? <gasps> no. <gasps> oh, my sweet, sweet king. Do you have any affection for me at all? Uh-oh. She's playing that card. Yes, I do. You're my queen. I can't bear to think of my brother locked away in some grimy cell. You gave the High Sparrow an army. Yes. And your wife has every right to criticize. Can't allow fanatics to arrest the Queen's brother no matter his perversions. Then... Can I tell Marjorie you have Solaris released? I told you I'm not holding, Sir Loris. You're the king. I'm sure if you speak to the High Sparrow, he'll release the poor boy. His Holiness is praying. He will not be disturbed. Give the order, and we'll clear out this rabble. You mean, kill them? Here, at the step. You'd be sending them to meet the gods that they love. Uh-oh. You're an abomination! Oh, damn. He's the nice one! Why are you being mean to him? He's not Dravri. He feels very unsafe, so... We'll find another way. Yeah, I'd leave too, to be honest. There was no way to free Solaris without violence. You're the king of the Andals, the lord of the Seven Kingdoms, the protector of the realm. And you let a band of fanatics imprison your brother by law. I'm going to speak with the High Sparrow. Are you? When? I, I don't know. Same. You don't know? He was praying just now. I have to send word to Grandmother. Will you come back later? I need to be with my family, Your Grace. Of course. Castle Black is my home now. Night's Watch take no part in the wars of She's the Seven creepy. Kingdoms. There's only one war. Life against death. Come. 
Let me show you what you're fighting for. You're gonna show me some vision in the fire. Forgive me, my lady. I don't trust in visions. No visions. No magic. Just life. Ugh, don't touch her, man. Ugh, come on. Just my heart beating. No. Your wife just died. This power. Your lady. Don't do this, man. You resist it, and that's your mistake. Embrace it. No, she's gonna give you a demon baby. Don't do this, man. No. The Lord of Light made us male and female. Two parts of a greater whole. In our joining, this power. Power to make life. Power to make light. She she makes power demon to babies. Cast shadows. Don't go near her. I don't think Stannis would like that very much. Then we shouldn't tell him. I can't. Why? I swore a vow. I loved another. Oh. The dead don't need lovers. Only the living. Yeah, he's mad now. I know. But I still love her. Oh my god, my babies! Good. Leave, lady. You know nothing, Jon Snow. The fuck? How did she know that saying? That's creepy. I called in every maester on this side of the world. Every healer. Every apothecary. They stopped the disease and saved your life. Because you did not belong across the world with the bloody stone man. You were the Princess Serene of House Baratheon. And you are my daughter. Oh. I know he's a shitty guy, but this was really sweet. Oh. So cute. So, so cute. First time I've seen somebody that's not dead down here. Lighting some candles. I thought I might that's find nice. you here. Ugh. Ugh. Don't go macking on her. What will be yours? Do you believe me? No, you're creepy. I expect I'll be a married woman by the time you return. Nope. Come on, Jamie. Kick it her butt. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, man. Go on. You can do it. Oh. oh, damn. Ooh. So is his sword like. Or is his hand sword proof? Nice move. Was it luck? Luck. Or. Yep. You had a wonderful teacher. Or is that somebody else? 
Oh, that is Grey Worm! Oh, come on, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, that's right. You kick the beast. This is not good, man. No, I don't like this. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, damn. Getting kills. Bad. Are they dead? Hot gray worm? No. Oh, fuck. That was Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 4. It was good. Um, some stuff happened. Uh, we see Jorah and Tyrion. Jorah stole a boat from somebody. And he's taking Tyrion somewhere. Um, I don't know where they're going because I thought they were already in Marine and unless Daenerys moved, I don't know where they're going. They're, they're going somewhere. So I guess we'll find out at some point. Um, we see the, um, Cersei and the High Sparrow, she gave him some men and he was going around breaking barrels of, I'm assuming, beer and killing people that were in brothels, uh, he killed a guy that was having sex with, the, with a, another guy, uh, we see the cousin, uh, I wanna, I don't think his name, not, it, not Loris, um, the cousin that was doing it with Cersei, he was getting something carved all up in his forehead, and then he went to go arrest Loris for the High Sparrow for his sins against the gods. Uh, and Marjorie is super bad, and she goes and talks to Tommen, and Tommen's like, I have no idea, I didn't order this, I don't know what's going on, and then he goes and talks to Cersei, and Cersei's like, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not holding him captive, you talk to the High Sparrow about it, you're the king, and he tries to go talk to the king, or to the High Sparrow, and he starts getting, like, bastard, and he, he's looking a little uncomfortable because he's not able to pass because the High Sparrow is praying, um, and he just decides to come back because he doesn't want to start a fight and frankly I wouldn't either because fights can turn into riots and we saw how that happened last time with Joffrey. Um, and he talks to Marjorie, and Marjorie's super mad about it. She does not want Loris to be in jail, which frankly I wouldn't either. Come on. Um, it was her first fight. That's kind of sad. I, they're, they're really adorable together and I don't want them to be fighting. The age difference is still a little uh, to me. I, I don't like it. Um, we see John is at the wall. Um, Stannis and his wife are talking and she's talking about how I should have given you some sons. All I gave you as a daughter and how she's a, she's a shame. And I know back in the day that if you didn't give somebody a son, you're a disgrace. It's just you gave him a really lovely daughter. Okay, she's not that bad of a kid. So, and Mel Melisandre, she's 
she's got like a look on her face and she's looking at John like mm, I want you and then she goes and talks to John about do you want to like see the light god and he's like I don't want to look in the fire and she's like it's not gonna be in the fire and then she like takes her clothes off and he's like touching her boob and I'm like don't do that man your lady just died your credit is not he dead that long and then he's like I have vows I loved another I still love her and then she walks off and then she says you know nothing Jon Snow and I'm like uh that's what Ygritte said to him how do you know that what how do you know this lady oh my god um, we see a really sweet scene between Stannis and his daughter Shireen about how he uh, didn't, I guess, let her die because of the grayscale. He didn't want her to be sent away. He got all the maesters in the kingdoms to heal her. And it was just a really sweet scene between them. Like, I, I have yet to really see them interact together. And it's really nice to see that father daughter father that father-daughter moment. I know Stannis is not that great of a person. It was just really sweet to me to see. Um, we see Jorah and Tyrion are on the boat, and Tyrion's like, oh, you're Jorah. You got sent away by the queen. Uh, you're taking me to get back in her favor. And I'm like, yeah, this doesn't think that's gonna work, and Tyrion doesn't think so either. Um, still have no idea where they're going, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, uh, Jamie and Bronn, uh, the sellsword, arrive at Dord. Uh, they get stopped by some guards. I don't really know what they were doing, but they were like, who are you? Why are you here? And they give this, like, cover story, and it doesn't work. They don't believe him. Um, they get into a fight, and we f Jamie finds out that his hand can, like, stop a sword. And Bronn's like, oh, that was luck. And I'm like, it felt like luck to me, too, just a little bit. Um, I don't think that would work more than once. Uh, but yeah, Jamie ends up killing somebody with his left hand, so good job, man. Um, we see Oberon's paramour lady. Uh, she meets with her daughters and is like, do you want to deal with this the peaceful way, the way Doran does it, or do you want to go to war? And they all are kind of like, yeah, I'll go to war. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I get it. Your husband died. You're pissed. But do you really got to you don't know how to do this, man, and I'm, like, 100% sure they're gonna try and kill Marcella, which I don't want that to happen. She's so sweet. She's such a sweet girl. <sighs> man, that sucks. Um, we see Danny and Bar Barrison, sell me? Barrison, whatever, her advisor guy, they're talking. He tells her, like, a story about Rhaegon and how he, he used to sing and what they do with the money, and it was really sweet. Um, we see the Sons of the Harpy are attacking. Uh, they are killing the Unsullied. Grey Worm is badly injured. <sighs> Not Grey Worm, my baby. And then Barrison comes in and he's like a boss. And he's like killing him off. And then he gets like stabbed. And stabbed again. And then he falls down and he died. <gasps> no, you were such a cool character. You were her advisor. You were so... Oh man, that sucks. Well... There goes the Game of Thrones death ticker. That's like one this season. There's been like 20 deaths so far. No, wait, that's like the second death this season. I don't know. I, I can't even keep track of how many deaths there are. There's been like 20 overall and somebody let me know. I'm, I think that's like at least number two, maybe three. I don't know. I, I'm assuming somebody else died at some point. Um, but yeah, this episode was really good. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. I love talking to you guys. I have all my social media, including my Patreon page. You can be an early access viewer and see videos early. Um, and as always, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will see you here with a new video. Bye!